Hi there, sign of Sagittarius. This is Kim here to do your next 48 hour reading. Thanks so much for liking, sharing, subscribing. Let's get right into your reading, asking your spirit guides and your angels to join us as we get messages for your most high. Hmm, there may be a need to set healthy boundaries. The number three also I associate with Empress, others do too, Armadillo Spirit. Putting up boundaries is going to be important. So embrace the spirit of Armadillo Spirit. Anything else? And Otter Spirit. You are never truly alone. You are never truly alone, it says. It says you are never alone. But. Is that good? Yeah. Okay. So, that is what I've got so far. Let's go into um, the journey of the sacred bee and see what messages we get for you. The emperor energy. Okay, messages for Sagittarius, please. Angels, spirit guides, give us messages from the heart. Sign of Sagittarius. Next 48 hour Sagittarius. All right, what's the issue? Sagittarius, what's the issue? Oh, nice. It says root of the powers of water. This is your Ace of Cups. So this is beautiful. This is um, some kind of brand new adventure. Something loving. Make sure you set healthy boundaries. It feels like whatever this opportunity is, like it's going to make a lot of connections. Something really magical about it. What's the challenge to this new beginning? This Ace of Cups opportunity kind of waiting for you. King of Cups in the reverse. And there's the Emperor again. The Emperor was wanting to show out on your shuffle. So the King of Cups in reverse, I always associate with getting kind of upset. Or letting the anger get the best of us. So we're, um, yeah, in a way, it can even just speak of an imbalance. You know, when somebody's really, really stressed too, that can happen. Cody Scorpio energy. What's at the heart of the matter? What's the heart of the matter? I think it's this one right here. <laughs> the Emperor it just wants to come out. It just wants to come out, guys. It just wants to come out. Let me see. Let me move this up a little bit. I'm sorry I'm fooling with the camera so much, but I want you to be able to actually see the cards. <laughs> okay, there we go. So the Emperor Energy Building going forward it might be your strategy it's um considered like a good war strategy because it's gonna work the emperor has been through it all and has won so aries energy confident new beginnings you should stand confident um and have a a really good feeling about this new beginning with you what is the past energy what's the past energy for sagittarius got the moon so these were the changes that came in. I have six of cups in the reverse on the bottom. So it could be like family healing that needs to happen or, um, or something like that. Changes in a family dynamic. 
there's some unseen, like the octopus here, you know, in the, in the water, it's, if their defense would be to ink this, the area. So you couldn't see, so something not all see, all seen, not all seen, something was somewhat of an illusion. You could have um, lots of skills too come into the surface with the moon card or Pisces energy. I have paint, by the way, all over my nails. So um, if you wonder what's under my nails, it's paint. Um, eight of Wands is the now moment. So these changes were in the past, big changes with Pisces. And now we have the Eight of Wands, which is your energy, which is great, Sagittarius, because your energy is all about bringing in forward movement and change because of this too. So you could be getting hit with Cupid's arrow too. This could be a new love interest. It could make somebody very upset. This new love. <laughs> and the page of wands, it like came out wanting to come up, um, upright like that. So there is definitely, this is my good news card. There's some playfulness here. There's some good news happening. Um, I love that. And you see, it's a face. It's a person's face here. Neat. Page of Wands. Um, good news card, Leo Aries Satch. And this is good news too. So it's like things are going to start picking up, moving faster, and you'll have some good news too with that. Hey, how do you feel <laughs> determined? I feel like you feel like there's maybe more possibilities than what you know, but you're not going to rule out any. So I think that's good. Um, not ruling out any possibilities here. Keeping your drive, your motivation, at times motivation and drive might be a challenge just because of the challenging energies here right now too. Um, can make us feel kind of like, slow, sluggish. But it feels like you're at the planning stage here of whatever this brand new beginning is. It has to do with you taking authority, charge, and control in your life. What a good reading, Sagittarius. I can't get over this. In your environment... Oh, okay, so that's what's upset, upsetting, is in your environment. I have somebody trying to, possibly trying to be sneaky around you with the moon. I feel like that maybe this is a person from the past. Or there's just something about this that is not um, exactly, that we're not exactly seeing right. I don't know. I feel like it's a block. I feel like it could be an energy block. Sorry, I went on talking too much, so I, I cut that part out. <laughs> but the Seven of Swords here, um, it could be like you feeling like you have to walk on eggshells or sneak around somebody. I don't know why. We could have lying, cheating, stealing. We could have the energy of just coming out of that energy. What's the hopes or fears here? What's the hopes or fears? Hopes or fears. Sagittarius, hopes or fears. The king of disc. Um, that if we plan for this commitment, commitment, good news regarding commitment and business, maybe Taurus energy, Aries energy, Leo or Sag. But this is good. This is really good. Because what you think about comes about, and that's what you're thinking about, is uh, wise investment decisions Putting your boundaries up, not letting anybody take advantage of you for sure, but knowing that you are really not alone here. Hmm. What's the outcome looking like? Woo! <laughs> three of disc. The three of disc. So it feels like maybe you're just now laying down the groundwork. If this is Cupid's arrow, maybe this is laying down the groundwork for a new uh, relationship, guys. I have Knight of Cups. Somebody's going to come in and try to seduce you, or this is a really good offer that is actually genuine, and it'd be up to you to take it or not, right? The only thing I want to clarify here is because I, I think everything's really great. I just want to find out 
how do we stay more focused and what is let's decipher the seven of swords energy around you so how do we stay focused here how do we stay focused how does sagittarius stay focused okay um it's like you're still running the race there's still a completion to be had and then by the time you get to the completion then you can rest Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo. You're in the building stage right now. So Seven of Swords, what is that about? King of Swords. Maybe dealing with authority or past issues with lying, cheating, or stealing. Possibly. What is this um, groundwork being laid down about? What is that about? It's about change and transformation with the death card. And the four of wands in reverse, I feel like is making a big move towards your milestones, towards your goals. Yeah, King of Cups. I, and some of you all really, really, really have a new person entering your life. Strong transformational um, Scorpio energy too here. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius also. Aries, you have strong, and Sagittarius. We have twists and turns. Carefully made plans could be thrown out the window as major changes and interruptions surround you. Make sure you get lots of rest to cope with the upheaval. See, I think that has something to do with the energy, too. Like, mainly to do with the energy here. Um, what else was I going to get? Let's get a dream totem. Let's finish with the dream totem. Decisions. It's your decision whether you keep this up or, or let it go. But continuing not, will not change the circumstances or the outcome. Could be when dealing with something with authority too. Worthwhile. Life is not about being taught a lesson for getting something wrong. It's about having an experience that adds richness to your life. Yes. Oh, keep lines of communication open too. Um, amazement. You have worked hard to get everything just the way it is right now. Trust and enjoy this moment that everything is as it should. And since it was in the reverse, I think it's talking about it's getting to where it needs to be. But let's go, let's go ahead and thank, um, you know, send our gratitude up there for the things that we do like, that we do, that we do have, that we're appreciative of. And that actually brings more things that you like into your uh, field. So, Send in your love and light, Sagittarius. That's what I got for you all.